The way I would like to do this though is by doing something terrible. All right, welcome back to Lakeview. Really need to crap Valley. <laughs> what is there left to do? Everybody's dead. Rebecca, we're keeping alive until Friday because we want to do that quest. I could technically kill Donna now if I wanted to, but um, she gives me money every single day, so we gotta wait up. There's some story things we have to do. We're gonna probably see Bum Bum here very quickly. And Bum Bum, we're taking back to the... How you doing, buddy? Let's get the Bum Bum greeting in here. Good deed. Bum Bum like. Bad deed. Bum Bum hurt. We're gonna get some story with Bum Bum this time around, because we're taking that ass over to the uh, Morgul tent pretty soon. But right now, what I'm trying to rush off to as soon as possible, as I'm rocking this um, item finder, because there's a couple of things I want to find too. But right now, I'm trying to rush over to our boy, the old sheriff. Anything around here I can dig up? Curious? No? Okay. Yeah, that knife is still up there. Um, I heard that he gives you some very intriguing story about Mary. Which is the the very first corpse that's in hell, no matter what. Stuart's wife. Let's check this out. Damn shame what happened to Stuart's wife. Look at that. It's Mary without um being all half decayed in hell. She was the most kind woman in the valley. I found her not that far from your house. The doctor said she had been violated. She was ripped open down there. And somehow her... <laughs> bum Bum, this is not the time. And somehow her cavity was filled with thousands of fly eggs. But her body hadn't been there long enough for the flies to have gotten to her. We never found out what happened. And Stuart was never the same. It's one of those cases I'd rather just forget. Oh good, how fitting that a fly shows up too. It's almost there to mock us, so... First and foremost, very graphic, yes. Ripped down there, I mean... <laughs> so, very graphic for one. Good god almighty, all these flies. She wasn't there for long, which means that her boy Morgo is responsible for all those eggs in there, which means that they were, you know, fairly close with each other, if you know what I'm saying. Now, whether was it by force or not? Uh, kind of intriguing, because Morgo does speak very good about Mary, but we don't know Mary's, uh, I guess, reciprocating feelings towards Morgo, so... If I had to wager a guess, I'd say probably by force, considering she was dead. Two hours later. Oh god, what is taking you so long? It's been forever, there we go. Nice of you to finally join us. Alright, come over here. Come into the tent. You better follow me. Oh, by the way, the thing with the, the hobo. Um, I had to come into the tent before he springs up on you and talks to you at nighttime. So, like, as it's nighttime and you can't sleep, you're supposed to dash over to Morgul really quickly so that he'll chase you over there and give you the dialogue, and that's when they'll have the exchange, so... It's gotta be very peculiar, you have to know how to trigger it. Bum Bum... It is you. You've lost some weight. So good to see you. <laughs> A man of few words is always... Good Otis. This is Bum Bum. Bum Bum's mother was part of our show, so I've known him since he was a wee baby. His mother always said, there's something wrong with him, but oh, she was wrong. You see, nobody takes a punch like Bum Bum. We used to beat the living shit out of him on stage, and people loved it. Boy wouldn't even flinch. Then I came up with the brilliant idea to let people come and take a swing at the face for a fee. Punch a clown, he won't frown. <laughs> we wouldn't get away with stuff like that these days. We made some decent coin with our act, didn't we, Bum Bum? There's that million dollar smile. Now, make yourself at home, Bum Bum. Mikasa, 
is to casa. Now between you and me, good Otis, Bum Bum's brain is all mushed up these days, but he's still strong like a bull. There's no way of knowing how he reacts when he sees something he doesn't like. So better be on your best behavior today. It's like Margo had this carnival of like freaks and outcasts, right? The 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 wolf lady as well. There's another um thing right there. We have obviously the clown. What are we missing right now? Well, we the kind the the. Well, it would have been nice if we had the the hobo, but we didn't do that. So here's what I want to do. Um, no matter what, he's gonna attack us today because we have done nothing but sin the entire run, and that's fine. I don't think we have actually ever fought him. Bum Bum before, so this will be the first time, but the way I want to do this is I could just attack him right now and kill him. We have a shotgun, we have the sword, we should be fine. The way I would like to do this though is by doing something terrible. I do recall in hell there's a spot about somebody talking about a pet. There's a doggo here, you see. And I figure, maybe that's the pet he was talking about in hell. I don't feel good about this, but um, it has to happen. Bum Bum. <laughs> Bum bum, I'm... Is murdering the dog not a terrible thing enough to do, clown? Well, I feel bad now. I'm sorry, puppers. You were just too pure for this terrible world that we live in. By the way, let's see. <laughs> no evidence. Oh, haha. <laughs> you see, um... You haven't pieced together what's happened to the town, huh? Sheriff, everybody's just missing but no evidence. Must be... Pretty terrible. <laughs> oh, we got a beeper around here. Oh my god. Oh, jeez Louise, that is one terrifying mask I just dug up. All right, Bum Bum. I'm sorry to say, buddy, I, I, I was hoping that we could get you to react accordingly, but, um... I mean, there's the cat still, but... I feel like doing something to the cat might affect Rebecca's quest somehow, so... Unfortunately, Bum Bum, this is where you shall indeed perish. Um, no, no hard feelings, huh, buddy? My god, look at those eyes. He has indeed awoken. Oh, he, he died with one shotgun blast alone. Oh. Well, that was, uh... <laughs> a little anticlimactic, I would say. And Friday is indeed upon us. Let's put our... Uh, I mean... What do you mean, oh no? What's oh no? What's happening? Oh crap? Oh no, you poop! Uh, that's right, he needed to poop and I forgot to poop. Look at what you've done, you 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 couldn't just hold it and go around and do it out back? Let's see what's on the agenda right now. I wanna see if there's more story that we could acquire from the sheriff here today. Let's go check that out and then Friday. Well today's the Rebecca thing, so we're gonna go ahead and do that today. Just because um I hope we finally get it. If not, we have the feather of love. Oh, right, I should... <laughs> uh, don't mind me, Sheriff, that's just, uh, yeah, early Halloween. Hey, good Otis, how you doing? I can't believe we lost Amy. I know her since she was a baby. Her parents. They weren't good people. And then they disappeared and left Amy behind. I can't believe someone would abandon their child like that. I had to take care of Amy, you know. I was more of a father to her. That spineless bastard ever was. I don't even think he was a real father. Her mother was a manipulative woman. But I never believed the lies. She just wanted to... Corrupt. I think she lied just to get him to stay. To corrupt him even further. Damn bastards. Well, I mean, other than, like, just going to pick up my hundred dollars right now, there's nothing else I can do, so... We're gonna wait around until Friday night for the Rebecca thing. All right, so I believe we got movement of Rebecca heading towards her house, so... Hey, I, I just wanted to thank you again for finding my cat. It's just that it was the nicest thing anyone has ever done for me in a long time. I'll be going now. Good night. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. Hold up, hold up, hold up, okay. Don't, don't... Come here, you gotta hit her with the feather falcon. I know, I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay. Okay. Come here, baby. I... Don't understand? Seems she is stuck here. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> I mean, my pants are... No, 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 no! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, no, no! Get over here! 
two hours later. Hey, I just wanted to thank you again for finding my cat. Oh, <gasps> we got it. I hope I'm not intruding, but can I come in? This is very important. We got it. The feather of love, boys. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. Woohoo. Thank you for letting me in. Give me a moment. This will sound incredibly crazy. Please don't judge me. I felt something inside of me when you helped me find my cat. I've never felt anything like it. No one has ever cared for me. And when you did, it felt so powerful. Like something... something that should be. Oh, I must sound like a total nut job. I just have this urge to be with you. So what do you say? Oh, she's blushing, all right. All right. Will you consent to intercourse, Rebecca? I think we have to do this. Wow, that was something else. Let me get my clothes back on. It's surprisingly cold in here. I don't understand what it is about you. It must be your eyes. I'm still apparently going over here. I can't describe it. I'm not good with people, as you may have noticed. My mother never looked me in the eyes. That might have something to do with it. I guess somewhere deep inside of her, she was ashamed. Thank you for treating me nicely. It was the first time for me. At least like that. But all that is now over, and I'm so happy to have found you. Why is the animation still going? Oh, God! I never thought I'd do any deserve. What is happening? Oh, you deserve to be loved. You deserved it harder than anyone, sweet daughter of mine. Aren't you happy to see me, Rebecca? Surely, you've missed your mother. Speak up, child. Nobody likes a person who mumbles. Why do you disrespect me? You don't know how hard I had to work to get back to you. You, you, I, I, I burned you. Yes, that was a very naughty thing to do with your own mother. But I've forgiven you. But please let me go. Shh. You are forever mine, my sweet little daughter. Thank you, good Otis, for bringing us together. Bless your heart. Now me and my daughter have some things we need to talk about. Good night, good Otis.